Each week we say a beautiful liturgy taken from the teaching of Jesus and stories in the book of Acts. It's potent and formative and it inspires us to move away from self-preservation and fear into generosity and into love. But this year we don't wanna focus on saying the liturgy, we wanna focus on living the liturgy. We want the truths we say to match the lives that we live. We wanna close the gap between what we confess and what we give. We want what we say out loud and where we steward our resources to align. Generosity in our church makes our mission possible. It lets us pursue the call God has on our church to serve you, our church family, and our city as well. It lets us focus on ministries like Alpha. Alpha is a course designed for people curious about faith, but who are not yet followers of Jesus. It's dinner and discussions designed to put the love and beauty of Christ on display. People gather together, eat a fantastic meal, watch a short but meaningful video, and then have space to discuss their thoughts and questions. Alpha's been an amazing tool to bring the good news of Jesus to people who've been burned by the church, unsure of where to process questions of faith, and longing to talk about things that really matter. And it's been a tool God has used to bring people into a relationship with Himself. This year, 101 people signed up for Alpha who self-identify as skeptical, atheists, or spiritual but not religious. And over 250 folks were involved in Alpha this year, making it one of the best years we've ever had. And this has borne fruit. This year we saw almost triple the number of people baptized compared to last year and celebrated as these new believers made their faith public here in New York. And we've also launched Youth Alpha to give Gen Z a chance to explore the truth and wonder of Jesus in a fresh and a compelling way. And although this is encouraging, it's just a trickle of the river of salvation we're asking God to unleash. As a part of that commitment to see God seek and save the lost, we want to heavily invest in Alpha in 2023. We want to create more space for folks looking for meaning and hope to have a place to explore in the city. We don't want our church to only grow through transfer growth, folks moving to the city or folks coming from other churches. We wanna see those far from God find their way to Him. We want rejoicing in heaven over our community because people are moving from death to life. Family ministry. One of the interesting dynamics of life in the city is how families navigate the challenges of living here. It's no secret that when folks start having kids in New York, they start leaving New York. The city of sin is a place hostile to faith, hostile to families, hard, secular, and unsustainable. But what if we could change that? What if our church could play a significant role in making the city a place that families thrive? What if instead of leaving the city when people have kids, they moved here because what God was doing amongst our families was so compelling? What if people refused to relocate in spite of better job offers because their kids were being formed and discipled with such intentionality and love? Well, we've always focused on serving the families in our church and we've always seen our littlest members as important and missional disciples. And so many good things have happened, but in 2023, we wanna take things to another level. We're working on a formation pathway for our families from birth to 18 that we think is going to be game-changing for how parents live their lives in the city. And we're working to build a parents' network that resources parents to thrive in the city in spite of all of the complexities. Psalm 145.4 says that one generation commends your works to another and they tell of your mighty acts. They speak of your glorious splendor, the splendor of your majesty. We want this generation to raise up that generation so that the next generation of compelling missional disciples can live on mission in this city. We wanna raise kids who can thrive in secularism, be loyal to the way of Jesus, seek his kingdom boldly, and live in the world skillfully. And we've seen firsthand the power of what giving can do when you focus on the next generation. As a part of our end of year offering last year, we focused on launching a student ministry out of our church. And because of your generosity and the grace of God, it's already grown to one of the largest student ministries in New York City. We're serving families and students from across the city and a true movement has begun. And we want to see God do the same thing among the families of our church and your generous giving can help make this happen. And prayer ministry. What God has done in building the culture of prayer in our church is truly remarkable. 
In the middle of one of the world's most secular cities, God has raised up a praying church. And this past year, we hosted over 600 hours of prayer in our prayer room, had almost 8,000 people join us for our prayer sets and trained thousands of people at our equipping events. We've helped over a dozen churches from around the country start their own prayer rooms. And you've probably experienced the deep sense of God's presence that's filling everything we do. The Bible says that God rewards those who diligently seek Him. And much of what's happening is the reward of people's previous commitment. Several years ago, we had a seed offering to launch Pray on My Sea. And what we're seeing now is the fruit of that. So we want to sow again and push even harder. We're increasing the amount of prayer sets we have, increasing our training events. And all night prayer that was one night a year has moved to once a month and is even gaining more steam. We want to help build a movement of praying churches that contend for spiritual awakening in our time so we can see a great outpouring of the Holy Spirit and a new worship space. Gathering together on Sundays to worship God is central to our life together. Over the years, we've met in all sorts of places, schools, churches, theaters, office buildings, even in Central Park, online in the pandemic, wherever we had to, we've done it. Coming together for worship is vital to strengthen our faith and to help us witness to the world. But it's more than that. Ephesians 3 says that the church is the manifold wisdom of God on display to the principalities and powers. We are a living testimony to the spiritual realm that Jesus is Lord, that His victory over sin, Satan, death and hell is being worked out in the middle of New York City. But the truth is we need more space. Many weeks we're at standing room only at the 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. services. We need space for families, youth, kids, new guests and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And God continues to grow our church family. We need to make space. Living the liturgy isn't just an offering. It's laying a foundation. A foundation of people finding salvation that's coming to A foundation of discipling the next generation. A foundation of prayer and spiritual awakening. A foundation of growth for the coming year. And so I want to ask you to give sacrificially to help lay this foundation. I want to ask you to determine to increase in generosity. I want to ask you to refuse to spend everything on yourself and give without sacrifice. I want to ask you to be faithful with such a little thing as money, that indeed God may bless us with true riches. Church, this is the season. Let's live the liturgy together.